Okay, everyone, if you've seen um, that video that I posted on the guide channel, those guys who were in, the, you know, the prisons, you know, dying or whatever from this whole COVID thing, I'm not going to, you know, say the whole word there, but, you know, here's my philosophy on that. This organization seeks out for the, uh, the most um, vile of people. And if you've seen a lot of the tactics that they have been playing lately, they love to put people against one another and they love to literally hire criminals to do their dirty work. OK, here's what I believe what's going on. There they are killing some inmates off. I believe that's what's happening. But I do believe they also are releasing some who are basically for the agenda thing. As far as all of them being involved, I honestly don't know. But that's just my theory on this. But um, if you've seen a lot of the other things that's going on, they're basically putting out this. They're going to be uh, trying to do some testing. And I didn't see no mandatory stuff on it. It was nothing mandatory to set on it. But they said that they wanted to basically provide uh, free care for people. Think about it, free care. You know, like if it's free, there's something. There's something along the sides going on. But they're also uh, like uh, hiring people to like snitch on people who are like basically outside for too long or something like that. I don't know. Basically, it's just a bunch of BS. That's normal. But this is getting even more serious than it was before. And this is exactly what they have. This is nothing new. They've been doing these tactics against targeted individuals for years. They would pay people off just to turn against us. They would pay our family members, our friends off just to give them information, just to turn on us. And this, I'll say it again, the same thing still applies. People, you need to wake the hell up. They turn on people who work for them, okay? That's what they do. So the worst thing you could possibly do is actually turn on a family member during a tribulation period because no offense, that's going to give you a one-way ticket to hell, okay? Because when you start to work for the uh, you know, the workers of iniquity who work for the beast, you are contributing yourself to that uh, organization there. Now, the, remember, I, when I post my content, it's only meant for people to take it as they see it. To be able to do their own research and from what I'm hearing and from what uh, I haven't yet to see anything but from what people are saying they are letting prisoners out I think this whole death toll thing is a way to get some of these uh, they are I believe, like I said I believe they are killing some of them off but I still believe that they're trying to cover some deaths up to let some out into the streets I think that's the pattern that's going on here and now they're setting up another pattern to basically set the stage to get people to just turn turn against each other. They'll say, oh, we'll pay you. Understand, man, like that money that they're paying you off with is worthless. Didn't they not shut the banks down? Didn't they not burn up the money? So how are you going to, especially with that check, like how are you going to cash a check when they shut the banks down? Stupid, man. Understand, money itself is the root of all evil. And this is exactly what we're dealing with. As for the situation goes, we'll, well, we'll see what's going to happen. Understand this. Those who accept that money and do that dirty work are not one of us. They're not, uh, they're, they're a part of the opposition. They're a part of this covert organization. That's uh, that seeks to do this, and this either that or it's just preying upon manipulation again. So it makes you wonder when people like just went blindly with them having a five G up again. When I said that a lot of these gang stalkers were brainwashed and they were hit, they were being used with these weapons. I wasn't bullshitting about that. Oh, I wasn't. What I'm saying is here is basically this. This type of technology has the ability to enhance and increase. A specific desire towards a specific thing it ha and it 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 basically replicates it and it's basically false um f 
false emotions of which it projects on, on onto somebody. Synthetic telepathy, man. And people who are not aware will take the synthetic telepathy as their own inner thoughts, their own inner feelings, and their own inner judgment. But people who are awake from this know that this is not their own inner judgment and that it's a foreign enemy, an unseen enemy that is projecting them with these thoughts. We have a lot of us may have even suffered from this since we were kids. Because then I'm doing this illegalized testing. Messing with technology they got no business messing with. Just be, remember when they say curiosity killed the cat? Yeah, they weren't joking about that. I didn't see anything that stated anything about like mandatory testing though. So it's not mandatory. They can't, I don't think they can just sit up and force it on anybody, you know? Like I stated before, um, I actually am going to leave a link to something. And it actually, uh, this actually may be a pretty damn big breakthrough. Try downloading the darn thing, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, what it is, is basically frequencies, that ultrasonic frequencies that basically, um, you know, push away insects. From what I understand, they're beaming us with, they're shooting the frequent, the ultrasonic frequency at us to, you know, draw these insects in. When it comes to a lot of these ones that, like, jump on the skin, I believe this is what they're doing. They're hitting us with an ultrasonic frequency that attracts them. But what happens when we use an ultrasonic, uh, you know, frequency that reflects them, that pushes them away? They're on YouTube. You can find them. Uh, check one out. Try it out for yourself. If you got the uh, situation with the fleas, I tried this thing out, and uh, so far, I don't hear anything. I had I used my bone conduction headphones, and I stayed up. I, I just sat there for like about a good hour and a half. I don't hear anything. Even now, as I'm laying here, they got the drones going back and forth through my window seal. I know there's no, there's really no birds going back and through there because the trees are like way down, and because of the building structure of this uh, complex, they don't have a nest up here. They can't make one. It's too flat surfaced, so that, that it's entirely impossible for them to even be bothering to go up here and make a nest. But man, like that. That as far as I know, when you take like the uh, the right frequencies, that's like for blood flow and parasite killing. What you can do is basically um, like move it around your body as it's playing, and then you will feel this stuff start to move. You could feel it moving under the skin, and they move away from this. The more and more you keep this near them, even though they try to move away, it, 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 they gotta they gotta keep moving away from it because it's killing them. That's why I suggested people to have like. Three to three to four devices like underneath their body or whatever, playing the frequencies and immediately when I did that, immediately forced them out through the feet. They 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 couldn't stand it. They couldn't. They had nowhere to hide. They had to literally go out through the feet. Um. But yeah, man, that's the situation we're dealing with. So basically, be safe because you're gonna have some uh, criminals out there running about. They are presumably dead. That are not. As far as, I mean, in my in my situation here, like, there's plenty of cameras around here. And, you know, I'm not even ever going to go out unless I have one on me. I recommend everybody do the same. Whenever you leave out, have that camera out at all times so that you can basically do, mon you know, monitoring of your own to show that you're not breaking any laws or anything like that. Which, you know, this whole thing is basically them breaking the law, obviously. But... If you've seen the video that I did when I went grocery shopping, that's a prime example of what I did. I went out, mind my own damn business, grab what I was, whatever I was going to grab, leave. I questioned some things. They didn't want me questioning things, and they were in a hurry to get me out of there. Of course, the lady most likely had her hands laced with nanotech, which is why she wanted to do the switcheroo with someone else. So that that person, you know, can have the undisclosed, well, like, wait, they already have it to the side. Let me just go, they just go low. Let me just go ahead and lace my shit right here. Walk over there and play like they didn't do anything and then have my shit laced. No. Always demand that these freaking shop clerks put on gloves, okay? Always do. 
And uh, if you see, if you watch that video all the way to the end, you could tell they're not even cleaning shit up. No way. But again, germs is a bunch of BS. But at the same time, this nanotech is not a bunch of BS. There's a difference to that. Um, if you've seen the conveyor belt in that video, you'll notice that they didn't clean it. It was like obviously powder on there. Yeah, this is the same. That, that 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 is a prime example that 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 ladies like back shit backwards. Okay, but it's not that she's back. It's not really so much as that she's backwards. It's that she's hired to be. You know, she's hired to be like that. She was paid off. That's the definition of the individuals you're going to be dealing with later on, folks. If you haven't been dealing with them already. Understand, these people are amongst us. These individuals are amongst us. They are neighbors. They are family members. They are people we once knew from years back then. They are people who may we may have even recently met. We're in an era to where it's going to be us against them. And they are out for themselves. But they're blindfolded. They think that, oh... Oh, everything's gonna be fine. No, they want. That's what the beast wants you to think. The be the, the beast wants you to uh, believe this false BS sense of security. They just want you to get and do what they want you to do. And when you do what they want you to do, they're done with you. They have no further use for you. They're still manipulating the people even now because there are too many of us. That's why they want to go ahead and try to get them to fight amongst each other until we're, our numbers are dwindled and confusion breaks out and we and the infiltrators can move on in to where they can ensure that things are going in their favor. That's what the fuck that's what the heck's about to happen. And these idiots, there are people probably out there who are still stupid enough to fall for this. Didn't you not get it when they uh turned on the farmers? Did you not get it when they literally uh turned on uh, the media, the same people who are like doing. Here's the thing, man. They got people who are still involved, still hired by them to counteract the people who they've hired to do all of these things. It's a it's a setup. It's a setup to make you believe that there is a side that's out there, you know, covertly exposing this stuff. When it comes to the main media, no. Uh uh-uh, uh, man. No. 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 They got a lot of this stuff surveyed. There are a bunch of people who are truthfully speaking out who are not working for them. But there are people who are also truthfully speaking out who are working for them as counter surveillance to basically pretty much try to get you on their side. So they got two ways of doing this. So don't think that there's one side to their corruption. There's multiple sides. You know how their whole uh, model is just like Zakayos mentioned. I mean, like a lot of crap comes in threes. Then the, the uh, USA comes in threes. The NBA comes in threes. The freaking uh, NWA comes in threes. What else? It's, there's so much other things, man. Even Fox News, ABC, all, all, all kinds of things. And it may, I started to realize something, you know, when I started to notice that uh, the freaking, uh, I think it was a CCN Cartoon Network. They hopped on with that, too. At first it was just two, but then they collaborate that into three. And I'm like, no way. I used to watch that station when I was a kid. And I'm like, uh, uh-uh. they are also a part of it. And it makes sense that they uh, have that adult swim crap at the, uh, at the uh, you know, at late nights. That's just to entice kids into their BS, though, man. They put some stuff that kids don't need to be seeing on there. And, you know, normally they would go to a station to be watching their cartoons, but no, 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 no. Oh, no, it ain't no car- it's cartoons on there, all right, but not appropriate ones for their age range. Anyway, that's my take on that matter. Um, They're not saying it's mandatory. I don't think they will ever be able to push something like that because people will automatically reject the crap out of that. They know this. But you need to understand, like, this is basically manipulation. They got people staged to start and set shit up, okay? Now, 
that video with that inmate, honestly, here's, man, look, here's my honest opinion about this, okay? I believe they are killing people off in the prisons. But at the same time, I believe, as I stated before, I believe they're letting people out and faking deaths, okay? I believe that's what's happening. So there's a twist to this. There's a twist to everything that they're doing. Remember how, uh, you know, have you ever, and otherwise, you notice how heavily they were censoring the media? You know? Anybody ever notice that? Not to mention, if this thing is so serious as they claim, well, think about it. You, if you've seen the video, like, they can't social distance, right? So, I mean, what, what about the uh, patrol? What about the officers? What about the warden? What about the security guards? You know? So, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know what to think about that situation because it's just, it's, it, and this is my main point. They're trying to confuse everybody. We don't, we, and by the time we realize what really is going on, it may even be too late. Which is why the sooner we act, the better. Seems like the longer we wait, man, like the, the worse things get. And let me tell you, there are some really eerie signs that have been showing up on the freaking news stations. Not just that, on the freaking commercials. Like, stuff has been really coming out creepy as hell. No joke. There's a uh, video that a, a person shared. And apparently this news anchor, um, well, she, her teeth didn't look human. It didn't. At all, really. I don't know if it was photoshopped. Who knows, man. But the best way I can tell you is that they look animalistic. They were sharp. Sharp like like animal like uh like sharp like uh like spiky sharp sharp. Um This is why I said like man, I'm 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 just willing to just abandon this technological world. This whole thing was designed to destroy us from the beginning. It was designed to uh, brainwash us. It was designed to confuse us. It was designed to basically destroy us. That's it. The people who they hire off the streets, the people who they hire to do this, that, or the other thing, they're going to be laced with those chips if they fulfill this bullshit, okay? They are. They're not going to be uh, given the uh, saying, no, you don't have to get that. No, they're going to be laced too. Everyone accepting the dirty money from this organization is playing into their plot. And these idiots don't see that. They're like, oh, I can make a quick buck. You want to know why they wanted to make sure, like a lot of this, uh, why they're saying like a lot of stores and shit is out of that and why they're taking away the foods and all this other type of stuff. You want to know why? Because they want you to be desperate. They want you to play into that shit. That's what they want you to do. They're putting that shit out there to get you in a desperate state. They're relying on people's inability to do certain things. They want to make people desperate. They want to make people suffer so that they would give in to their plot and their BS. This is MM. This is doing my part in spreading out the knowledge of what's going on. Of the corruption and the bullshit with the, both the media and all these other organizations they're playing. I'm over and out.